Welcome to this fly tying demonstration from Fish Base Fly Box. Today I'm going to tie a humpy. What I have on the vise is a TMC 100 size 14 and I'm going to use some UTC 140 fluorescent pink thread. And I just picked pink just because I just wanted to tie one in pink. No particular reason. I'm going to start this at about the 50% point, 50, 55, 60, somewhere in there, percent point of the hook. Start the thread. I'm going to wrap it, wrap it wrap to the bend of the hook. Trim my tag end. Wrap it to the bend of the hook. And then I'm going to take some moose body hair for the tail. And I've got about 12, a dozen fibers here. And I will make them a shank length long. I'm going to tighten that, twist that thread up so it's a cord. And then I'll start wrapping that down. Just bring that to where about where we started the thread, and then take them, and we're gonna cut them. Okay. Now we're gonna take our thread. We're gonna wrap it to almost the hook eye, and then bring it back. We want the we want to end this right about the three quarters of the way down the shank. Looks about right, right there. Now I'm going to take some yearling elk hair, is what I've got here. And I want to, I've got a small clump here. I've already stacked and cleaned and trimmed it. I'm going to take it, and I want to measure about one hook shank length. And I want to cord this up again. I'm going to wrap this around the hook shank a couple times, a couple of light wraps, and then we're going to tighten it. Let that flare out. And we're going to keep tight pressure on that as we're wrapping that. And then I'm going to take, I'm looking at these fibers, I'm going to take the majority of them. I'm going to leave a couple dozen there, a couple dozen elk hair fibers there but I want to cut the rest off. So I just divided it and I'm going to trim that. Okay, so I got a couple dozen elk hair fibers there. It might still be a little bit many, too many. Take a few more off. And then I'm going to take these fibers and hold them up, like so. I'm going to wrap this, this thread along the hook shank. And I'm going to hold these fibers up so they'll stay along the top of the hook shank. And I'm pulling these fibers a little bit towards me to help keep them to counter the uh, twist of the thread going over the hook shank. And I'm going to Get, go to the bend of the hook. I see I've got some tail fibers stuck there. I'm gonna grab a bog can and get them out of there. There we go. Alright. Let's these up again. Let's pull them forward. Make sure I'm, I need to go back a little bit further. I can still see pink thread. There. Okay, now I'm going to bring my thread back to the front of that, those elk hair tips. Okay, I'm right there. I want to grab these elk hair tips and I'm going to bring them with my, my, either my index finger or my middle finger and pull them back. And I'm going to go right in front of those, of that elk hair. I just kind of build a a little bit of a thread dam there to help get those fibers to stand up like so. Now I'm going to take my bodkin I'm going to take a look at the fibers I've got. I'm going to try to divide those up in half the best I can. I'm just going to split them up
once I think I've got pretty even, should look something like that. And now I'm going to hold the near side of the fibers side towards me with thumb and index finger. I'm going to pull them and wrap towards the rear side towards the bend of the hook. So it's kind of like it's a cross wrap so it is. I'm going across the fly. I'm going to do three wraps across the fly and then I'm going to do the same thing the other side cross wrap those again do you need something? Okay. so this is what I got now I'm down on the top of the fly see my cross wraps are there and I'm going to now I'm going to take and I'm going to bring it up and over and I'm going to start the, the wing on the far side of the hook so as I bring it up and over the hook shank I'm going to bring it around and then the bottom of that wing and I'm going to grab the wing of my thumb and index finger to start this and I'm just going to wrap around it and this is the tricky part of this fly a tricky part of this fly because you don't want to pull too much too hard that the thread ends up unwrapping itself around that wing goes over the top and unwraps itself but you don't want to go so t um, you want to keep it tight enough that you can get that wing to form so after you've done about four or five wraps or so just enough to get the wing to form give it a pull hold it with your thumb and feet forefinger and pull, give it a good little snug tug and then work your way back down so after the first wing is complete that's what it's going to look like I've got the one side there and you can see the wraps going up and down it. And then I'm going to bring it back down. And I'm going to bring the thread over the top of the hook. And start this other, the near side towards me. Side towards me. And I could, again, grab the thumb with my finger. And bring it around. The thread around. And same, same idea with the tension of the, of the thread. And the reason we're going over the hook shanks and under is because you the pressure that you give it should help those wings um, combine not really combine but get closer to each other rather than lay flat it'll help prop them up sorry I gotta turn it that way so I can see what I'm doing here and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done And I'm going to bring it back down. And I'm going to bring it. So this is where I'm at. I've got my one up. A few wraps. I went down a few wraps. Went back down to the bottom. And I'm going to bring it over the top. And around. The hook shank. And now I've got two fairly good formed wings. Of elk hair. Now I'm going to take my thread and I'm going to bring it back to the start wrapping it towards the back, rear of the hook. Yeah, it looks like I got one fiber there, it just doesn't want to stay down. Stay up, excuse me, not stay down, stay as part of the wing. And then I'm just going to bring this, continue bringing it to the back, and I'm going to bring it forward again to about 60% point of the hook. And I want to unwind this thread, so I'm going to turn it counterclockwise, and that should flatten it out. And I'm going to bring it around again and build my start building my hump. Just nice touching wraps. Just keep wrapping the thread back and forth. Building your hump. Once you think you got a good enough hump, bring it back to about the 60-65% point of the hook. 
and then we're going to bring your elk hair fibers. Use a bodkin to get these all to gather together, just slide under and pull it over, or you can just use your fingers. And we're going to bring the fibers over the top in between the two wings. And I'm going to pinch with my index finger and my thumb, pinch the fly right here. As I wrap this around, I want to keep those fibers from going too far around the hook shank. Give it a couple of good wraps, two or three good wraps there. Let's see where we're at. It's not quite straight, so I'm going to undo those. And I'm going to bring them back over again. There we go. That's better. Wrap those around. And then once we get three or four wraps, we're good tight wraps around there. We're going to take our fibers here. And we're going to trim them. Then all have to be done at once. There's two. Okay. This, these ones. Here. We got two more sitting there. They're really kind of small. I just gotta. Okay. This is how we're looking so far. At the hump, it's wings, and we're doing pretty good. Okay, now I'm going to take two saddle hacks. Uh, well, actually, I better take back that up. I'm going to grab, I'm going to wrap these um, fibers around. And that thread, that fibers does not want to. And then we're going to wrap a small thread base. Bring it back around. All right where that hump is. Okay, so at this point of the fly, I'm going to take two saddle hackles. I've got a brown one and I've got a grizzly one. And I'm going to set them on top of each other. The back of one sitting on front on the front of the other one. And I've got, I've prepped it, so I've cut, I've taken about a quarter inch, three quarter, three eighths inch of the fibers off the, the stem. I'm going to lay it down there, and I'm going to leave about a 32nd to a 16th of an inch on the um, fly there, on the stem, I mean, off the thread there. And I'm going to take and I'm going to wrap these in. And now... I'm going to take my fibers, I mean the saddle hack, the hackles, I'm going to start wrapping around the hook shank. The reason I, now you see the reason why I left a bit of a stem from the top of that. If you notice there's a little bit of stem there. So when I pull down on these, they stay, they point up rather than um, to the back. So I'm going to keep wrapping them around. I should be able to get three wraps in the back and then three wraps in the front. And I'm going to take and wrap this, tie it down. And then I'm going to take and carefully cut these stems so I don't cut my thread. Okay, bring it back. And I'm going to trim some of these um, hackle fibers that are sitting here. Okay, and now I'm going to grab my whip finish. And I'm going to whip finish the fly. I'm trying to be careful not to wrap any of those fibers down. Three. Okay. Trim the thread. And then I'm going to go through and clean it up. OK. 
Okay. I'm going to take some Sally Hansen's Hard as Nails. That's head cement. Use my body and apply it to the head there. And there it is. The Humpy. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this demonstration and please remember to like Fish Baits Flybox on Facebook. Subscribe to Fish Baits Lionstein's YouTube channel and to subscribe to Fish Baits Flybox at fishbaitsflybox.com. Thank you and have a nice have a nice day.